Hello and welcome to day six on the mat in the festive challenge and today we are going to be using some light hand weights. Mine are one kilogram. I wouldn't recommend that you use more than two kilogram weights otherwise they become really heavy and you may get tension in the neck and shoulders. If you haven't got hand weights you can do the workout without them or you can use um, anything out of the store cupboard, maybe cans of tomatoes, provided they're the same, or bottles of water, just something that's even weight. So we're gonna get started just to warm up without the weights. We're just gonna start with some basic squat backs. So we're squatting back into a chair and lifting up from the kneecaps. Okay, so gently back and up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're just going to now sway to the side. So hands on your hips and we sway from side to side. Good. So keep low in the middle. And then let's just bring in, and touching the toe and opening out to the side. Just to warm up those shoulders, get a bit of rotation. Four more. For four, three, two, one. And just walk the feet in and now let's pick up our weight oh no one more thing to warm up the shoulders let's put our hands on the shoulders and then just circle them forwards good and then open them out to the back and now we are going to pick up our weights so let's just round the shoulders so they're nice and comfortable on the back we have a long neck firm through the feet and we're just going to take the weights to the shoulders we're going to squat back as we do a shoulder press keeping the arms slightly in front and up okay so let's go for 10 so for 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. So now holding the weights with our elbows tucked in at the waist. We're gonna serve the arms forward and squeeze them back. So forward, keeping the elbows close. So let's go for 10 again. So for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. So if you don't have weights, create your own resistance. So imagine that you're pulling something heavy towards you and pushing it away. Let's do three more. Two and one. Okay, so keeping the arms in the goal pose position, we're going to do a chest press. So we squeeze the elbows together and open. Together and open. Keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed down though. So for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Sit down, do a quick roll. So coming to face the side now. Let me face there. The sun's come out, so I've kind of got a little halo around me now. <laughs> so we're going to take the left leg back and we're going to take the left arm to that leg and we're going to kick back and in. 
So really push back through that little finger for 10, 9, 8. So we're hinging from the hip. We're in a straight line from the toe to the head. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Come to the center. We'll do side raises for 10. Keep the knees slightly soft. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, other side for the tricep kickback. Straight into it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Coming to the end of the mat now, we're going to roll down onto the mat. So inhale, exhale, nod the chin to the chest. Let those weights come forward down the legs. Rolling, getting as much movement out the spine as you can. Walking forward, dropping the knees. And we're going to roll over and come to a seated position. Okay, so we want to be sitting high on the sit bone, so we don't want to be slouching. Sitting up straight, and we're just going to rest the weights onto the front of the shins. We're going to do half roll back, but it will progress this. So we're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, create that C shape with your pelvis as the weights come just to the knees, stay in the C, and then restack to vertical. We'll just do a few like that to make sure that spine's nice and warm. Really draw the abdominals back towards the, the, the spine as you Roll back, forward and lift, and one more. Forward and lift. Good, so now if you wish, with the weights, or if you wanna take the weights away, if they get too heavy, if you get any tension in the neck, just do it without the weights. We're gonna go into our regular half roll back. So we're just going to tuck the pelvis, roll back, Stay in the C as we come up and over. Restart to vertical. We'll do five like that. Keep the feet grounded. Don't forget to breathe. Two more. And lift, and last one. And lift, okay. Put the weights on the knees, just extend through that chest slightly. Good. So now we're going to flip our palms to the face of the ceiling. I'm gonna roll back, hold here, and we'll do a bicep curl for 10, nine, Eight, really draw those abs down. Seven, six, keeping the elbows still in space. Five, four, feet grounded. Three, two, one. I'm rolling up. Pop the weights down for a second. And extend through that chest again. And then we've got one more with the weights in this position. So again, anytime the weights get too heavy, please just drop them down and do the exercise without the weights. So we're going to roll back. We're going to open to the left, center, right, center. We'll do three each side, working into the waist now. One more. and rolling up. We'll do that two more times. Rolling back. 
opening other side two last one three coming up and over the legs reset to vertical and last time I don't know about you but for me the weights are really starting to get heavy now but I don't have any tension in the neck so I'm just working through those shoulders rolling up and come to vertical great so now holding on behind the thighs rolling down to the mat and we're going to go into our roll up with the weights and the weights do assist you here so take the weights overhead flex the feet we're going to inhale arms come to the ceiling and then exhale nod the chin to the chest rolling up the weight should give you a little bit of extra help reaching forward now stay in your c as you roll all the way back down and arms coming overhead we'll just do four more inhale exhale rolling forward stay in a nice c shape and rolling back okay keep going with that if you're happy if, if this is too much take the weights down and let's do an assisted roll up as so we inhale exhale nod the chin hold on behind the thighs coming up to seated and you can round forward bring the knees back in and tuck and roll back down okay or you could just do that with one leg hold on with one leg this is how you can progress the exercise until you build the strength and roll back down so let's do one more sorry i lost count sorry if this is extra inhale and then exhale coming up stay in c as you roll back down excellent good so let's just leave the weights where they are for a second put our arms to a low v bring one knee to tabletop the other leg to tabletop glue the ankles feet and knees together let's just do a hip roll just to ease off any tension in our lower back so we inhale take the feet ankles and knees over to one side keeping the hips as grounded as you can exhale use the oblique muscles to bring them back to center now let's just do one more either side and other side center okay keeping the legs in tabletop but to for a fist distance apart from the knees now we're going to extend the left leg forward as the right arm goes back bring it back to center left arm right leg center if you need a modification for this we don't straighten the leg we just do a knee fold and in Again, knee fold and in or you just do the legs okay so whichever one suits you for five four slow and controlled three two and last one one take one leg down the other leg down and take the arm so they're long just hovering off the mat we're going to nod out into our chest we're rolling up into a into an ab curl position keeping the pelvis neutral we're going to reach towards the left ankle center right ankle center so you should really feel this working into the obliques in the waist center for three four again drop the weights if they're too heavy five six keep that chest nice and lifted seven 
And last one either side, eight. Drop the weights, drop the head, and then just let's take the head from one side to the other side. Just release off any tension that you may have in the neck. And again, you can just let the knees rock from side to side as well, if that feels nice. Good. So moving on to some shoulder bridge exercises now. We're going to take the feet quite close into the sit bones, hip bone distance apart. We're going to take our arms up. As we lift the pelvis up, we do elbows come down to the side and then we tap down for 10. Nine, really squeeze those glutes and hamstrings as you're lifting the pelvis. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just hold the pelvis up there. Take the arms straight, and we're going to bend at the knees, put the weights together, bend at the elbows, weights come to the forehead, and up for a tricep ascension. So for 10, keep the pelvis high. Nine, eight, elbows stay locked. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop the pelvis, drop the arms. Great job. Final one in the shoulder bridge. Arms are coming up, but our knuckles are now facing inwards. As we lift that pelvis up now, we're gonna do a chest fight out to the side and lower. So for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Excellent job. So we do one roll up to get us to seated. Good. Final exercise before we have a nice stretch. So we're gonna sit high up on the sit bones. Okay, so I'm gonna bend my knees slightly because I just feel more comfortable like that. So just slightly. And we're gonna do an upright row. So we're bringing the lat muscles together at the back and shoot the arms straight back to the front, straight out to the front. So bring them back and straight for 10, nine, staying nice and vertical. Eight, really squeeze those lats together. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one. Okay, so now we're gonna go for one arm and back and the other arm and back. So with a slight rotation. Let me see if I move forward slightly. Okay, well, I'll just on a bit. Maybe I do, that's better. Okay, so we go rotate and back for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's just drop the weights, put our legs in butterfly and round forward and breathe into the back. We've done with the weights now. Good. And then just cross the legs and we'll come to seated and just clasp the hands together at the back and just extend the chest to get a stretch across the front there. Good, and then rounding forward, let the pelvis tip back, and then 
open the arms again either which with your arms straight or clasping the hands good and then we're going to end with a lovely mermaid stretch just to stretch across the backs of the shoulders so we're going to come into a z-sit position okay so hips as grounded as we can open up and then you scoop so the abs roll back as the arm comes around until you feel a stretch across the backs of your shoulders. So I can only come really in line with my knee. Some people might be able to go a bit further. I don't think you should be able to go to exactly to the other hand. And breathe. That stretch feels nice. And then opening out, drop the elbow and lifting up from the hip. So really push that other hip down. Lifting up, a really lovely side stretch. And then look through the gap in the elbow as we do a counter stretch. And then let's spin the legs round to the other side. It's grounding, scooping around. down and then a counter stretch and that is the end of your workout for today so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you're feeling strong in the arms I can certainly feel it in my shoulders um, and tomorrow we're going to have a nice mindful movement exercise uh, workout. So it's, we're slowing the pace down, we're concentrating on feeling the movement, particularly through our feet and through our hands. So I look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye.